Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back for another TOS video. So this is gonna be card review for the uh, ongoing joint operation card, uh, Natero. Right. So let's take a look at his active skill, leader skill, and find out whether he is a good card or not. So we will start off with Natero's leader skill, the velocity of hunters. Right, so basically, when the team consists of only humans, human attack times 4.5 hard rune stones possess 50% effect of other rune stones and can be superimposed. Right, so basically, Nectaro here is gonna have the same leader skill as Hisoka. Right, this explains uh, this. This pretty much says a lot because it's basically a non-jackpot leader skill, right? So which is um, pretty much like on the underwhelming side. Right, so I really expected Nectaro to have a better leader skill, right, at least maybe. Uh, velocity of Hunters EX and stuff like that, maybe get a higher multiplier, etc. Right, so unfortunately, no. Right, so it gets the same treatment as Hisoka, which makes this card um, pretty much on the down end, not really usable kind of category. Right, so it's okay. Right, let's take a look at his Nen skill. Natero Nen Power right, is basically the same as Marium, which restores mass runes as well as monochrome runes into normal state and that consumes 50% of the Dragonary Craft. Right, so this is pretty much the same as Merium, right? Uh, same as same consumption as Merium as well. And the condition is to be using Natero as leader. Right, so as I mentioned just now, um, Natero isn't really fit to be a leader, right, based on his multiply and stuff like that. Right, even in the trailer video you can see that um Natero paired with the three enchantress, the damage isn't very fantastic, right? So uh I won't see Natero um, in the current meta at all right? Totally, totally not um, The damage output is not high enough to be in current meta That's all I'm gonna say for this card Right, so yeah, In terms of leader, not a very good leader Right, so maybe his active skill can make it a good card um, In other teams, right, perhaps Right, so let's take a look at Natero's active skill Right, so what you can see here is Natero's active skill at CD8 which converts water runes, uh, fire runes, earth runes into light runes and dark into hard and then the, on the, the current light and hard runes on the board into enchanted rune stones. Right, so and for one round, the monster launched 10 extra light attacks as much as 10% of the monster's attack and then after that, no attack could be launched by the monster in the next round. Right, so let me talk a bit of this um, active skill right here. Right, so you can you, you pretty much feel that uh you have actually seen this active skill somewhere, right? Uh, basically, it's a very copy and paste kind of work, right? For this active skill, basically, what I can see for the first um part of the active skill is from Hubble. So here is a side by side reference of Hubble and Natero. Right, basically, it's the opposite convert of Hubble. Right, Hubble converts water, fire, earth into enchant heart. Whereas Natero converts it into light, and then the same, uh, the same opposite goes applies to the light, to, uh, to the dark runes, right? So, uh, very lazy copy and paste work here, right? On top of that, we have the second part of the active skill, which is very familiar as well. So, what you can see here is Sondra from the mechanical series. So, uh, basically, Sondra does a better job than Natero, right? Overall. So, Natero launches 10 extra light attack as much as 10% of the monster's attack and Sondra launches 20 extra light attack as much as 30% of the monster's attack. Right, so number of hits, Sondra is the winner and then, um, the damage output for the, the extra attacks is higher as well. Right, Sondra dealing 30% and Natero doing 10%. Right, so, even a bi-weekly card is better than this joint operation card, right? So, in my opinion, I feel that it is very, very underwhelming for Natero. But on top of that, Natero can't attack the next round. So, um, why? Right, it makes me wonder why should I even bring this card into battle, right? So, uh, in my opinion, I think that this is going to be a card that is going to be rotting in the inventory, right? So, um, this joint operation isn't that worth it, right, to farm. Right, unless you're just going in for the harpies and the souls and stuff like that right, but overall the tarot here uh, isn't going to be worth the farm right so um, this is going to be my opinion for this card right here right so overall uh, it, it depends on you guys whether to farm it or not right ultimately he's the chairman of the hunter association some guys uh, might be fan of the anime might just farm it right but overall he's not going to be a useful card 
in the future as well. Right, so this is going to be card review for the card Natero. Right, if you like this video, do give it a like, and then I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.